And likewise, what is the y-intercept? Well, when x equals 0, let's see what y equals. If we drop a 0 in for that x, this whole term goes to 0, and we're left with y equals negative 7. Mm -hmm. What is the slope? Well, we just have to look at the m in our y equals mx plus b. There's the m right there, and here's the m right there, mx. So our slope is 7 thirds. And lastly, 24 and 25, we are almost done here. Write the equation of the line for each graph. Well, remember general form, y equals mx plus b, where b is our y-intercept and m is our slope. So let's start off, let's start, let's start off 21 right here. y equals, what's our m? Looks like we go up one, over one, so our m, our slope is, I don't care what you write, you can write one over one, uh, or you can just write a one, one x plus, and where did we start at? One, two. That's a positive two, so we started at two. So we get that two from the y-intercept, and we get our slope, for our m, from measuring the rise over the run. Let's take a look at 25. Y equals, I'll go ahead and I'll measure our slope here. Looks like we go up. We go up 1, 2, 3. So rise is 3. Run is to the left 1. So that is a change of negative 1. So the slope is negative 3. X because... 3 divided by negative 1 is negative 3. But you can leave it like this, that's fine. y equals 3 over negative 1x minus, and the reason I put minus is because it looks like our y-intercept is right here at negative 1. And there you have it. I would highly, highly, highly suggest practicing practicing these problems. Practice from old handouts, old handouts, practice this review, go on YouTube, go online, search for terms like slope, intercept, slope, intercept, form, that would be a good search term, uh, search on um, slope, search on graphing, uh, anything that can reinforce these ideas that are in this exam. But anyway, see you on test day. Have a great Thanksgiving.